In this little movie, I'm basically showing you Moses' first ever car ride. And I'd just like to say at the very beginning, my wife is sat behind the driver's seat. She's holding the camera, so everything's perfectly safe. Now, here we go. I'll let you hear the moment that the engine's turned on, just so you can see Moses' response, and you'll see how I respond, which is to totally ignore him, uh, showing him there's no danger and there's nothing to worry about. So there you go, that's the way you do it, you say absolutely nothing. You can see Moses hardly battered an eyelid, and me by, by me staying very calm and relaxed, he got the message, there's nothing to worry about. Now here we are driving along, and dear Moses starts to climb on top of me. Key thing here, move him off without saying a single word. I think I have to do this maybe um, 10 or 20 times during the whole journey, and it's a crucial point. You don't get stressed and start shouting at your puppy, because then they'll pick up on your stress, they'll become stressed about the car journey, they'll be more excited and uh, probably climb on top of you even more. However, there are a couple of uh, tricks I've got up my sleeve. The first one is I've got a plan B, which is I would consider putting him down there in the footwell if he started getting really stressed and excited. Um, that may work for you. Another option is that I've got a crate in the boot of the car, in the back of the car. There's a crate which I'm happy to put him in, put his bed in there, and that could well settle him down. It'll certainly be safer if he was climbing all on top of me or you have a, a bigger dog. Also, if he gets really stressed and he's in the crate, you can put a blanket over the top. Very often that will calm your puppy or your dog down an awful lot as well. You can take the blanket off as they calm down, obviously, but to start with, Taking away the visual sensory um, sense of the, all the stuff going past the windows can help them relax and calm down. Another thing, a couple of other tips. I've got the windows wide open or down enough. He can't jump out of them, but they're down enough that uh, he'll get lots of fresh air coming through. The air conditioning is on also. And I've made sure he's tired. He's had a good run before we put him in the car. He's been fed and watered. So he's, he's not full, though. That's also important. He's been fed and watered. He's been toileted, which is very important. But he's not just had a feed. So he had a feed a lot earlier. He went to the toilet. You don't want your puppy being full of treats or just having had a meal because then there's a high chance that they're going to be sick. So another tip about taking a puppy out is maybe the first few journeys, just make it a one or a two minute drive at the top of the road, take your puppy out onto the grass, let them have a run around, put them back in the car and bring them home. So they have a great association with getting in the car. You may even the first few times just put them in the car and give them a pig's ear to chew on. So they absolutely love getting in the car and they don't always associate with a big half hour car journey. It's about a 10 minute ride for Moses off to the vets. He's going to have his second set of vaccinations here. And again, here we are giving him a positive association with arriving at the vets. He's found his pigs here. And it was interesting. Whoops, don't fall off there, Moses. It's interesting. The vet actually said to me that now he's had his second set of vaccinations. You can let him meet other puppies at puppy class. Make sure the dogs he meets are ones that you know are all up to date with their injections. And you can also take him out to safe places, low risk areas. So that does not include the dog park where there's pee and poo everywhere and there's all sorts of dogs have been there. But areas where there probably haven't been any dogs and seem very clean, then by all means you should be able to take him out there, walk him down the street, that sort of stuff. So long as there's not been lots and lots of dogs there making it high risk. It's a real balance between socializing your puppy and uh, making sure they don't catch a disease. So you've got to weigh that one up and chat to your vet about it. Here he is on the way home. Another lovely association with his pig's ear. He's had a great time. He's very happy, very relaxed. It's been an absolute success.